Hello friends, now we are going to study the components of computer system. Basically, components are the backbone of your computer system. Without that, your computer system cannot work. Before seeing the components of computer system, first we have to see what this computer is. So what is computer? A computer is an electronic device that accepts your data, processes it and produces the result as well as display them to the users and if required then store the result for the future users. Computers in simple words are machines which perform the set of functions according to their user directions. Going by this definition of several electronic devices from laptop to the calculators are computers. A computer comprises of some basic elements including hardware, software, programs, data, and its connectivity. No other computer can function in the absence of these elements. Apart from these elements, a computer comprises of the main basic components. These components are responsible for making computers actually function. So let's take a look at them in details. Components of computer system. Every computer system has the following basic components. The first is input unit. Second is CPU that is central processing unit. And third is output unit. This is a basic element diagram for the computer system. First, we provide the input to the computer to perform the operation. Second is the processing data through that you get the output. Third is the output devices through which you can get your data or you can see your data. In the processing stage if you want to store your data you can store it with the help of different storage devices. Now we see in details. While there are other components as well. These three are primarily responsible for making a computer function. They must work in a complete synergy because that will ensure a smooth overall functioning. So we can even call them the building blocks of a computer system. First is input unit. This is a component which helps the user to enter the data or a commands into computer system. That data can be numbers, can be words, action or any type of commands. The main function of input device is to direct commands and data into computers. Computers then use their CPU to process this data and produces the output. Consider for example, a laptop's keyboard is an input unit that enters a number or the character. Similarly, even a mouse can be an input unit for entering directions and commands. Some other examples can be barcode record, magnetic ink character reader, optical character reader, etc. Another example of input device is the current recently we are using that is touch screens. A user can simply touch the screens without using any other device to enter the commands. From smartphones to the ATM machine, these input devices are becoming very popular these days. 
currently you guys are using a different smartphones which are basically use a touch screen display you just have to provide your finger and give the input through the fingerprint and through that you can get your output as per your instructions next is second input device is central processing unit that is cpu after receiving data and commands from users a computer system now has to process it according to the instruction provided here it has to rely on the component which is called as central processing unit that means after getting the data whatever the processing has to get to be done and for that processing the instruction which is given to the processor that can be handled through the central processing unit the cpu further divided into three element now we'll see in the furthers the first is memory unit once a user enters the data using input device a computer system store the data in a memory unit after that this data will now remain here until other component of cpu process it consider if you provided some contact number to the computer and if you want to store this number to the memory so the storing work or the storing process is done by the memory unit means where to store this data what offset we have to give what memory location how much size or how much memory location we have to provide this everything can be managed through the memory unit and whenever the processor require this data for the processing that time the computer or the cpu can accept the data from the memory unit so we can say a memory which is used by the memory unit is internal memory we can say it is a ram that is random access memory the memory unit uses a set of pre program instruction to further transmit this data to other parts of the cpu second type is alu that is arithmetic and logic unit the type is alu this part of the cpu performs arithmetic operations that can be any subtraction multiplication addition division etc any mathematical calculation can be performed from the alu as well as it can perform some logical functions like comparison of data third unit is control unit we can say that is a main or a backbone of your computer you know why because it is responsible for coordinating all the tasks between all the components of your computer system that means whatever the work is performed by your computer whole controlling of that task is performed by the cu that is control unit the control unit collects the data from input units and send that data to processing units depending on its nature finally it also further transmit proceeded data to the output units that means the input of your data then the processing of your data then output of your data as well as the storing of your data this everything get handled by the control unit fine next 
नेक्स्ट थर्ड कंपोनेंट ऑफ योर कंप्यूटर सिस्टम इज आउटपुट यूनिट After processing of your data, it is converted into the format which is human can understand. What do you mean by this line? Means whatever data will get processed, that is in a digital format. Now, what is digital format mean? The data which is processed by the computer, that is in a machine level language, or we can say in the binary format. or we can say it is in a zeros or one format so this format cannot be understand by the humans so for that you have to convert this data into human readable language for that processor will work and then he will convert the machine level language into higher level language and then only it can get worked after the conversion the output units display this data to the user so this is the main work of output unit example of output devices are monitor on which we can see the data printer we can take the print out on the data or the hard copy speaker which we can give the data as a listening purpose thus Output units basically reproduce the data formatted by the computer for a user's benefits. So in this video, we have seen the three main components of computer system. The first is input unit, the second is central processing unit, and the third is output unit. Thank you.